Okay, Breaker Broke 23. So, a while ago I did a YouTube video explaining how to deal with this white ground wire. And in some cases, that's a, a green and yellow that's actually hooked to a chassis ground. Or it can be a white uh, hooked up here to the chassis ground. Okay, they use that in a three wire installation. And what they're doing here is on a three wire, and I don't have the gray three wire cord to show you, so you're just going to have to bear with me. And at the end of this video, I sort of, I sort of illustrate that on paper. So when you put a three wire uh, dryer plug on a modern dryer, what we're going to have is we're going to have a, a gray wire, a gray wire, and a gray wire. When you lay them out flat, you're going to have the gray wire in the middle always goes to this neutral. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one of the side wires and hook to 110, the other side wire hook to 110, you're going to take the center wire and hook it to neutral, then you're going to take this white wire or green with a yellow stripe and we're going to hook this over here to ground. And what they're doing on the old system is they're taking and uh, tying the neutral in as a ground. Okay, so that's how they do that. On a modern uh, system, at the breaker box, properly wired box, uh, you should have the neutral and the ground broken up. And so what they're doing here <clears throat> is they're making us able, the manufacturer of this particular uh, um, appliance is going to let us do that. So what they do is they take and this wire, this white or ground wire, and what they do is up inside here, a couple inches back from here, they have them actually pigtailed together. So this neutral is actually pigtailed to this white. So the neutral shares the ground with the white. Also, some appliances will have a, a little copper strap that goes from here to here to the ground. Okay. So in a modern four-wire hookup, which is what we have here, one, two, three, and then four, um, we actually isolate this neutral and let the have the chassis have its own true chassis ground. So we're not bonding this neutral ground and the chassis together. And those are for safety issues because if something ever goes wrong with the particular device or anything like that it's not going to use your body as a as a path to ground so what we're going to do is we're going to take this red wire and we're going to go to this first lug we're going to take the white and go to the neutral we're going to take the black and go to the other 110 lug then what we're going to do is we're going to hook this up to ground now with this white wire because it pigtails back up into here anyway you can do a few things you can cut it which I don't recommend to do but I have seen people do it or you can take this white wire all right you can take this white wire and you can jumper it back to the neutral and then take your other white wire from your four pin plug and just plug that in just hook that together like that okay then what you do is you take your ground from the plug and ground it to the chassis. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to show you what that looks like. So hold on. Okay, now I'm coming back here and I'm going to show you what we did. This is for a four prong hookup, okay? So we have the red to 110. We have the white to neutral. We have the black to 110. And we have the ground chassis ground to ground and what we did is we took that white wire that's pigtailed up here okay you can't see it but up here it's pigtailed and it goes down to this lug and then it goes around and back up to this lug now if your appliance has a ground strap or a strap that goes from neutral to ground and you're hooking up a four wire plug undo this ground strap or loop this neutral back to here this is pretty much the same thing as cutting it or just you know re you know hooking it back into the circuit um 
Now, when you do a three-wire plug, it is imperative that you take this white and or green and yellow and ground it. You have to do that. You will die if you do not do that. So, if you get a dryer and it is a modern dryer or it already came wired like this like a hand-me-down or something for four pin but you're gonna hook it up to old school three wire hookup you must make sure that this neutral wire is at ground okay or if it had a bus bar here you need to fashion a bus bar or do something to get this neutral to chassis ground that is only in a three wire hookup in a four wire hookup the way we're doing this here they want this neutral line that goes back to the center tap of your transformer up on the pole to stay isolated or not bonded to the chassis ground if something goes wrong in the house or this appliance and any of this power uh, needs to go to ground it's not going to use you as a ground it's going to go back to the uh, box to the circuit breaker box which if wired correctly to modern standards the actual ground bus will be isolated from the neutral so that's why they do that that way all right i hope this helps out i'm going to show you folks now just a simple uh sketch of of uh this uh installation hold on Okay, so here is a kind of a rough schematic here how we do this. Okay, for a three wire, because this is so important, on a three wire you have the gray, you have a, a three wires laid out there in a flat configuration. You're going to have a wire in the center, then you're going to have one on each side. The wire on each side is a 110 lead, okay? The center one is your neutral. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure when you have this three-wire hookup that you have a ground uh, jumper from the chassis ground over here to this center wire. Whether it's another white wire that's just doubled back and up here, or whether it's a little actual copper strap that goes from the neutral to the chassis ground. You have to have that. Now, on the four-wire, it's a little more giving. If you make this mistake and leave this neutral hooked up to here, it's probably not going to kill you, uh, but uh, it's not the way to do it. The manufacturer of the appliance wants this circuit to be independent of this ground. Anything happens in here and sends voltage to the cabinet, you don't want to be the source of ground and get electrocuted. You want it to go straight to ground. So what we have here is we have our 110, our neutral, our 110, and our green ground wire to the plug. As you can see here, I've illustrated the pigtail that in some appliances will, uh, when you have the three wire hookup, you will bring this over to here. In this four wire diagram though, you're gonna want to make sure that it's neutral is neutral and it's isolated from ground, okay? So I hope I didn't confuse you any more than you may be, um, but I just wanted to show you the difference there and how imperative, imperative it is to make sure this three wire connection is properly grounded to that neutral. All right, thanks for watching.